Hey everybody, call me Felix, and in this episode of our Tagai Thai food trip, we're getting our first taste of a buko pie that has been selling like hotcakes. In the first seven months of sales, over 50,000 of these buko pies were sold, and the business lost count ever since. Cousin JP and I, however, found something arguably even more delicious than buko pie in this Pasalubong store, and something nostalgically American, Dr. Pepper. Before we begin, let's recap our last stop on our Tagai Thai food trip. We had Bulalo once more at a place that is quite budget friendly for this heartwarming beef bone soup, Bulalo Point. For the price of a huge bowl at some Bulalo restaurants in Tagai Thai, you can get a good sized palayok of Bulalo and a hot plate of sizzling Bulalo at Bulalo Point. We also ordered up the usual fried food accompaniments to Bulalo, such as crispy bata and daing na bangos, and we found them a tasty value, whereas I found the main star dishes, the Bulalo and the sizzling Bulalo, a hearty portion, but ultimately on the bland side. If you want to check out our Tagai Thai food trip thus far, Go ahead and click on the way on the Tagai Thai food trip playlist on the far right hand corner. Later that day, we picked up Cousin JP, and soon after picking him up, we picked up our own merienda at a buko pie shop that is the toast of Tagai Thai, platefully. In a town full of buko pies, this one stands apart, not to mention the fact this bake shop sold 50,000 plus boxes in its first seven months. Even though Cousin JP despises coconut, I just had to investigate what makes this buko pie so special. Our review of Playfully's buko pie got thrown to the wayside when we found the magical elixir of Dr. Pepper for the first time in the Philippines. And so this video really isn't about a buko pie review, it's all about Dr. Pepper. You'll have to wait for the next video for our take on Playfully's buko pies. For now, you'll just have to watch a Filipino's first time reaction video to drinking Dr. Pepper right after Cousin JP and I rekindle a love affair with Dr. Pepper. Enjoy. You know where we are, JP? Where? We're at a place that sells... They say that this place, they have we had buko pie for seven months and the first seven months they lost track of sales because they sold so much. Sure. Yeah, I did all the math. In seven months, they made 15 million pesos by selling like 300, like, what is it? For two million pesos? Yeah, All right, over seven months. Let's check this out. It says free taste. Free taste. Free taste. Yeah, free taste. Let's go. The most famous buko pie in Tagay Town. Pie. Well, maybe not the most famous. Pie. Ooh, I smell the pies. What's your name? Bernadette. Hi, Bernadette. So, we're actually from Ilocos Norte. And we heard about, thankfully. So, uh, there's all these buku pies over here. What makes your buku pie better than the rest? Um, yung ano po naman is bread pastry po, sir. It's a bread pastry. So that's the difference? Is that it's a bread pastry. The other buku pies are? Hindi ko lang po alam sa iba, sir. Pero madami pong bumabalik kasi gusto po nila yung kahit po yung sa dulo, hindi po matigas dahil yung sa iba. Oh, so it's softer. Uh, it's softer breading. I guess. Oh. That's there. Can we take a free taste? Okay. A free taste. A free taste of your buko pie. Is that buko pie just like pandan pie? Pandan, sir, chaka buko plain. Can we try the buko plain to see what the yeah. difference is? Okay. Wow, it's one whole slice too. Just about. Nice. Oh. Or not many. No, no. no. <laughs> we just want the regular version. Yeah. So it looks like a like an apple pie. I mean, you know, like an apple yeah. pie. And, you, know. you can really smell the pie when you walk in there. So we're vlogging, so yeah. we want to see if this is the best buko pie. And, and you you think it's the best, part of that? Yes, sir. Okay. Because by my mathematics, when they said they lost, like when they started having yeah, yeah, selling buko pie for the first seven months, mm -hmm. I heard that article said that they lost track of sales because they were selling so many. So I did the is math. Is that true? So I did the math, right? So in the first seven months, they're basically averaging 250 buko pie sales a day, selling them at 300 pesos a pop. And that basically means they made 15 million pesos over seven months. True? Wow. Wow. Why is that though? Is it because you're well known already? And, or the product is really that good? Can you give them a piece too so you can try Yeah. Because I, we're from the funnel cake factory, which is not exactly like buko pie, but we want to be like you guys. Yeah. We want to be, you're, you're our seats. heroes. Yeah. Heroes. Yeah. We want to know the secret of business success of selling. Bernadette is strong but silent. She won't. Sir, she won't. Lang 
Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh That's why. Okay, that makes a lot of it. sense. So uh, this is a plain. Do you have a manager fight. that we can talk to? Sir, nasa ano po production po ang production. Okay. So what if you have issues over here? Who go, who do you go to? The deliver lang po kasi sila. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's toast to the Let's toast to the pies. Toast to the pies, guys. Yeah. It's worth rate noting that JP doesn't like buko. <laughs> Let me just say that. I hate buko. <laughs> I hate buko, and this is actually pretty good. Whoa! It's the crust. It's very. It's the crust. And it really makes it taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's to me. It's not about the inside. It's about the crust. It's about the crust. Yes, yeah, the pastry. Mm. This is the pastry that's good. But the real test will be. We gotta buy a few to go try this out mm -hmm. somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somewhere else. With a view. And maybe some hot chocolate. Yum. Yum. This yes. Is really, actually, really good. Actually. It's actually pretty it's good. It's not too sweet. It's just like no. It isn't. Hmm. It's really about the pastry, I think. Yeah. The pastry is really good. It reminds me of like a like not so sweet sugar cookie. Yeah. That's flaky. Yeah. Okay, so Bernadette, what do you what do you have to offer us to set any of the pie? I'll take a small, please. Um, small po, sir. Chicken po siya. Classic po tsaka sabori. Yung sabori naman po, luto po siya sa white wine. Hmm. White wine? What? White wine po siya. Would you say chicken pot pie with white wine? Is that chicken pot pie? Is it chicken pot pie? White wine? With white carrots and peas and gravy and potatoes? Like Maybe American not that. chicken Maybe pie? Maybe not that. Right? Cause I with white wine sauce? What? Shall we try it? Yeah, of course. How much per piece? Oh, they're ha oh, they're the small pies. I get it. Pesos. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's not bad. Can that we take, good. Can we get one for each of us in there? Yeah. Okay, let's can we do have that. Four of the white wine, chicken pies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to break out of that habit. It's lit. Okay, so they only have two sizes. So you have two sizes, right? No, no, no. no. I mean, for your buko pies. Hey, so, you have one size. Oh, okay. Four of the ones with white wine? Yes. Chicken white wine. Are you nervous, Bernadette? <laughs> We're putting you on the spot, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know vloggers were going to come see you today, huh? I'm not informed. Yeah, that so happens chicken. sometimes. So these ones with Greek spinach. Yeah, we should try that. Wow. Okay, so how many pieces are in one box if you get a box? Six pieces. Six. Can we mix and match? Do you want to mix and match? Yeah. Okay. Can you mix and do you have the Greek spinach? So available for classic and savory. Classic and what? Savory. Savory. Okay. Classic and savory. Okay, so let's just get the savory ones. Three and then classic three. Okay. Okay. Classic three, savory three, please. But can you please let us know which ones which so we know. Yeah. That way when we. So that we're not surprised. Pag one dot po sir chicken po. Pag two dot po savory. Okay. One dot chicken, two dot savory. Mental note, guys. Keep that in pencil note. One Wait, dot. Regular. Why do they call it classic and why do they call one savory? Because the savory one has a white wine. Oh, okay. The other one doesn't. Classic is. Oh, so okay. basically, the one that has two dots are for alcoholics. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Bernie, she's just agreeing with me with everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's very interesting. Very palate forward here. Mm hmm. In Tagay Thai. Yeah. Okay, and then what else? Masarap din po yung crispy mushroom. Crispy mushroom. And I tried that before, but we're here for your buko pie, what you're known for. Yeah. So what else can you offer us? Sir, tart po. Hmm? Tart. Buko tart. 
Glucotart. What's that? Tarts. What's the difference between the ube, the buko pie and buku tart? Oh, there's a little sweet topping on there, as opposed to just a regular. I kind of like the buko pie regular. Yeah, I want to try the buko pie regular. Yeah. So you want to just get a regular buko pie? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. One regular buko pie. Yeah. One must try the world famous buko pie from Plateville. From Plateville. Yes. Broas. Ooh, la la. <gasps> With some chocolate, the hot chocolate. Ooh, and look at this blueberry cheesecake in a. Ooh, my goodness, wait! They have Bart's root beer! <laughs> An apple cider. Dude, Bart's root beer! I know. Wow. I gotta have Bart's root beer. Okay. Oh, how about that? Dr. Pepper! Oh my god! Dr. Pepper! Okay, forget about buko pie, everybody. That's not gonna Forget that. Bart's and Dr. Pepper. We can't get... Okay, one of each, man. <laughs> I want Dr. Pepper. We need... Yeah, we need... Yeah. We need that. We need that in our lives. Please. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen this. Six years I've been here. Oh my god! We have never seen Dr. Pepper! Oh my god. We, we, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta have one now. I gotta have one now. Go, go, go have one. I gotta, I gotta taste it for you on camera, everyone. <laughs> Dr. Frickin' Pepper. Oh my god. Oh, wait, I gotta open my mouth here. There's toast. That is toast. To how many years without Dr. Pepper for you? Six. No, more than that. More than that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, oh first god. time ever having Dr. Pepper in the Philippines. Yes. Yes, Dr. Pepper. I love it. Mm. Oh my god. I can't get enough. Oh my god, that's so good. Ah. Yes, that face. Mm. Guys, if you've never had Dr. Pepper, it's oh just basically I, I can't describe it because it's just so, it's so good, yeah. It's like Dr. It's like um Coca-Cola with a lot of black cherries. Yes. Mmm. Oh god, that's delicious. Oh god, that's good. Oh god, this that's good. Day. This made Toast my day again. again. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Delicious. I can't get enough, man. <laughs> it's like it's like downing. I mean, guys, I mean like people say this stuff is made of antifreeze. I don't care. This stuff is like lecture of the gods. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's like black cherry, vanilla, ice cream, and Coke yes, put together. Yes, yes. Mmm. Mmm. My God. Mmm. So ah. good. Oh my goodness. This is the best thing I've had in Tagay Thai. Yes. Is this Dr. Pepper? Mmm. And then we have Bark's root beer. <sighs> I sorry. I, sorry. I, 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 I blacked, blacked out for a second on Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what did you? What are we doing? Um, we're, paying, <laughs> we're paying for buko pie and our um, savory that's pies. Totally, that totally blacked me out. It's so good. Can we throw this away? How much are these each? 759. No, this. 50 pesos. 50 pesos? Oh, that's it? That's it? Yay! Awesome. What a bargain. Should we take some to go? Hells yeah. Just two how more. Many, how many more? There's only three left in there. Okay, take them all. <laughs> Take them all, take them all, JP, take the whole thing, Dr. Oh. Pepper. Okay. Oh my right. god. Chris has to try one. Oh yeah. He's never had oh, Dr. Pepper. Okay. Oh my god. I am so happy, everybody. Okay. And then it goes to the buko pie. I said I wanted hot chocolate. And then like um I don't know I, if I want, want hot chocolate more after this. I want this, I want, I want this. That. I want some of that. And barks. Oh my god. So good. Oh. Jeez. Heavenly. We might have to hang out at this place. I love this Where's place this already. But yeah, this is only a. Nine hundred nine, sir. Huh? Nine hundred nine. Nine hundred nine. Nine hundred nine. What angel number? The one after nine hundred nine. Okay, let's pay for all this, and then let's tear our pies. Yes. Somewhere else, and then I'm gonna take some Dr Pepper and drink some, and then. <laughs> the barks. Okay. Oh, okay. Chris has to try it. So we'll see. Yeah, what yeah. Let's it. see what his reaction is. Yeah. yeah okay. Huh. Chris's reaction after this. Pepper. Chris. You've never had Dr. Pepper in your life. Yeah. In how many years? 
If your miserable life thus far? 38 years. <laughs> <laughs> First time okay, I saw Okay, 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 you get, okay, yeah. okay. Have all that stuff. Those are our buko pies and chicken pies and all that. Yes. Green white wine sauce. Yes, wow. Okay, Especially no, 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 Ben, no, no, he's no, no, out. That. He's taking that. a nap. You gotta, you gotta try it. You have to try it. Open it up and taste it. Yeah, right now. Right now, we want to react. What's this? I want to react. A uh, Dr. That's Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Dude, that's There's like no the more? greatest soda ever. Really? There's no more. Dr. Pepper. No, because that's for us. You can you just open and drink. Yeah. Why are you just studying the thing? It's not like we gave, we're giving you rat poison. Well, I thought it's 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 a salt. It's a come on, come on, come on. Alcohol. I want you to try Dr. Pepper. Our uh, first time to drink. A Filipino this one. man gets yeah. to try Dr. Pepper for the first time ever. It might cure your limb. Yeah, it's good. Oh, you went straight away for a second sip. Wait. Yeah. Ah, third. third! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got a bigger go! Oh shit! Oh my uh, god! How does it taste? Thank you for the Dr. Pepper. It's it's really it's, it's really better than Coke, isn't it? I haven't it? had that in a long yeah, time. Good. Me that? too. It makes me burp. Yeah, it's really it good. Burp Doesn't it taste so yes. good? Yes. Oh my god, I love Dr. Pepper. Don't you love Dr. Pepper, Chris? Yeah. It's and that's so refreshing, right? It's so refreshing and so rich. Actually, I don't like it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for buying Dr. Pepper and fun. Yes. yes. So good. Okay, Chris okay. loves Dr. Pepper as much as me and JP. Let's yes. Why can't we find it anywhere? Wait, can we find it in the Philippines, Dr. Pepper? Maybe because you know. it's in the <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll zip more. He's then trying I'll to do steal this. his Dr. Pepper. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's all for you. Thank you. I like it. Okay, what does Ben think nah, nah. about being reunited with Dr. Pepper? Whoa. It helps you burn. Yeah, what, it helps does, what does 23 mean? Wow. 23 uh, ingredients. 23 skidoo and 23 ingredients. I'm shaving the can. I'm gonna make a Okay, can you just bang. take it already? Can you just drink it already, Ben? Gosh. <laughs> We're trying to go for chocolateria to go to drink some hot chocolate. It's refreshing, uh, huh? Isn't it refreshing? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It's, it's more than the least than the Coke. I yeah, it's better than Coke. Give me yeah. a break, Coke. Uh, uh, Coke is getting like... Yeah, see, the lovely flow. thing about it is... Dr. Pepper does never, never taste watered down. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Pepper is always oh, Dr. Pepper. Not like freaking Coca-Cola. I'm going to search for Dr. Pepper again. Me too. I love you, Dr. Pepper. I love you so much. I love you, I, Dr. Pepper. You're the best thing I've had on all this Tagay Thai food trip thus you're far. You're the best yes. doctor in Tagay Thai. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Tagay Thai, yeah, you're the best thing you've tried in Tagay Thai. The and they're better than Antonio's too, right? Yeah. yeah. How yeah. much it costs? Only 50 pesos. Really? Yeah. 50 it's pesos quite, of well, happiness. You know, it's imported. It's, yeah. yeah. It's hard really, to find. It's I feel like we found that. And yet. I'm, it's like buying happiness for 50 pesos. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm happy, everybody. Everybody <laughs> should be happy when you drink a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's Plano, Texas. What? That's yeah, what it's like. Yeah, look, yeah it no, says. Dr. Pepper is made in it Texas. It says here. Okay, onwards, we must go to not Starbucks. We are going to the Chocolateria. To have our buco pie with, yes, and some chocolate things, yes. I swear we'll take you to the chocolate factory in Tagay Thai on the next video after the following one, which is the real review on this highly hyped buco pie. And so, if you enjoyed this video and love Dr. Pepper so much, then give this video a thumbs up. Better yet, please subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures to come. Until the next time, keep cool, but care, and remember, the empire never ended.